Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for latest updates. Today I'm going to discuss about a very famous Indian anthropologist and sociologist Shyam Charan Dubey who was born on 25th July 1922 and died on 4th Feb 1996. Coming on to his life sketch. He was born in Narsingpur, Madhya Pradesh. He took his master's degree from Nagpur University in political science where he did research work on the Kamar who are the tribes of Madhya Pradesh. Talking about the linguistic skills, he had good command in English and Hindi. He started his professional career as a professor in Hislop College, Nagpur. Mind it, it's not Bishop College. Then he moved on to Lucknow University and there he got his famous book, The Kamar, published. Soon after, he met D.N. Majumdar, who helped him in publishing a journal called as Eastern Anthropologist. Then he went to Osmani University as a reader at the place of von Führer Hemendorf and also went to SOAS and London School of Economics where he met Raymond Firth who has helped him in lots of his publications. He quitted Osmania because he got a very good position as a deputy director at Anthropological Society of India. Later he joined at Saugar University as a professor and also was an advisor in NICD, National Institute of Community Development. Thereafter, he was director at Indian Institute of Advanced Studies, Shimla. But like every anthropologist or sociologist likes to travel and explore things, so he too decided to go and explore the world and see the world by his own vision. So he joined at Jammu University as Vice Chancellor and even in between the two, the Jammu University and Shimla, he was President of Indian Sociological Society. He actively participated in ICSSR as National Fellow. Please mind it, it is ICSSR. He actively participated in programs of UNESCO and UN as well. Now let's talk about the methodological approach he adopted. So basically he was a structural functionalist. What does it mean? It means that there are some structures in the society and they exist because they serve some function like family. Family helps us to unite. So in particular he uh, focused on deductive positivist approach and gave macro perspective. Deductive positivist approach means that hypothesis was developed on the basis of existing theory. Coming to his six important works. So overall I have divided his work in six headings and to study those headings or I can say to learn those headings I am giving a mnemonic. Now what is mnemonic? Mnemonic is something known to you, a fact which is known to you and you use that fact or you relate it for learning some unknown fact or some new fact. So in this video I am going to tell you a mnemonic in Hindi but for those uh, who are unable to understand it or whose first language is not Hindi, please comment in the comment box and I'll give you a new mnemonic in English. So in this the mnemonic is TV PCM Political Sociology and Indian Society ki baate karte hain. Now in this you need to focus on the alphabets and the words I have written in capital like TV, CM, Political Sociology, Indian Society. So every time you switch on a TV, you uh, ought to see CM or PM talking about uh, political sociology or talking about Indian society. So this is a very basic thing. Everybody 
knows it so we are going to relate this thing with the unknown fact and the unknown fact in this case is the important works of sc dubey now how we are going to relate i'll tell you let's start with it starting with t t is for tribal society tv t is for tribal society in tribal society dubey studied the tribes of madhya pradesh who were known as kamar in this particularly he studied the shifting cultivation of kamars then v v is for village study tv so v is for village study in village study he stated that village is semi autonomous in nature and it is it is not static or changeless he focused on social aspects economic aspect ritual structures and the family family's level of living what you need to remember here is the name of the village that was shamir pet so the name of the village is really important then comes cm c is for community development program now dubey evaluated the community development program under the cornell project which was organized in saharanpur he focused on the human elements that contributed in this cdp program these cdp programs were nothing but the policies introduced by the government of india to improve the standards of living of the villagers now m is for modernization and development as per dubey modernization was complex in his book contemporary india and its modernization he viewed certain factors those were contributing critically to analyze the success and failure of country these factors were secularism planning education leadership and bureaucracy he too talked about the role of education mass communication and various other factors in promotion of this modernization he stated that policy process is in a state of total disarray which means that there are policies but they are not implemented properly by the government in terms of development he says that there are four phases of development first one is economic development in which he notices the economic growth the extent of economic growth in the second phase he analyzes the relationship between economic growth and the social change the third phase according to him is the reactive and responsive phase which has resulted because of a modernization paradigm now in the fourth phase he talks about reflexive phase reflexive phase is one in which we compare our development the development of our country with that of the world dubey says that if there is no visible social change development has not occurred then comes political sociology as such i have written it political sociology in the mnemonics in political sociology dubey compared the pre and early jagir period with the post the second half of the jagir period in which he witnessed that the administrative contact was increased and police action by the indian union was also increased he saw that this brought a great change in the fortune and status of the city he observed that the forced labor and forced extraction of hospitality by government officials has been prohibited feudal state got abolished muslims higher positions were now changed political activity turned in general elections and intensified nation building was emerging then comes last one indian society in indian society dubey compared the past and present and he started with studying the varn and the jati in the urban and rural context he observed that society is changing and this happened because of multiple factors he talked about caste ranking he worked on village leadership and dominant caste he talked about purity and pollution so his basic idea was that the fundamental principle of caste ranking is based on the concept of purity and pollution 
and the caste ranking in village is ritual and is not economical he concluded that the political power is concentrated in hands of few individuals rather than it is diffused in caste now let's talk about the important books now you have to learn the books as such the kamar the india's changing village institution building for community development contemporary india and its modernization tribal heritage of india understanding society modernization and development tradition and development understanding change indian society so all these books are related to the work he has done you can easily relate them they are uh, easy to learn plus you have to learn their years of publication those are important and will leave a good impression on your examiner so it's good to learn everything then comes the critics sc dube was criticized by many but i have mentioned the most famous criticism of his this was done by d n dhanagare he criticized dube for not being and not having an analytical insight he has not given an analytical insight for his work secondly he criticized dube for not giving any alternative framework there was no other method to study indian village so these were the two critics for more details you can refer websites or you can um, refer ignu books those are really good and you can make your own notes but till that time please study and keep commenting like my video do subscribe my channel thanks for watching